Hi, it's Bank from Machino Paris, France. I hope you're well. And today I want to talk about the quest philosophy and this way to work with our partner in our office and to help them to find uh, some different aspect of their own pattern and more of that some uh, resource and solution for and by themselves. And it's very interesting to understand that we need to work uh, about the who, who is. Um, the first question and after that the what. What is the problem? What is the, the, the main uh, disturbance that I will self? The why is very interesting because um, we can understand that a lot of people are like uh, robots. Uh, in fact, they, they feel something and a lot of time if they work with some therapist, they have some, some different uh, definition about what, what they live and what they have and more of that some some psychologists or psychiatrists will give a name about what is the problem however the what is not what the guy uh, can feel during his own experience however he wants to prove to himself that what he live is the reality and it's what he have like a problem but in fact uh, when you ask a good question about what do you feel what is it inside yourself what happened when you are connected to your problem and so on and you will just search and uh, ask some question about the real problem you will understand that it's not only uh, a name or uh, just uh, uh, a stereotype of of the problem each People have his own way of leading different problems. We can give a name. We know when someone knows what is the problem, we can have um, be calm inside ourselves and say, okay, I know what I have, so it's good. So I can find a, a solution for that. The problem is perhaps you have what's uh, the, the, the other thing or you you think you know what you have because you read it on a book or a forum or Facebook group and so on however uh, for uh, a therapist it, it's not very important to, to, to know what is the name of that the most important thing is what you live with that what happen with that and the, the, the questions of you will Take time to understand what's happened, what is the problem, what can you give me, um, like any elements to me to, to, to share your own experience. Because uh, what I live is different from what you live. If I expl explain what is my uh, anger against the world, uh, you will have an anger, perhaps not against the world, perhaps against your parents, perhaps against your, 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 your work and so on. So, you need to explain to me, define to me what is the, the, the real feeling about that. And you will observe that a lot of people just be like robots, like I tell you before, because they, they just repeat the definition they read or that some people explain to them. My uh, psychologist explained to me uh, what I am is that and uh, the problem I don't find any solution for that but in fact what do you feel about that what do you think about that what do you do with that uh, it's very important to put our partner in his own responsibilities and own experience for that and it's why we need to connect that to the first question the who's question who is what who have what? A lot of time people um, just confused who they are with what they have. And uh, in fact, they confuse the subject and the object. And at this moment, the what need to give to us very interesting aspect to understand what is the problem for who. And more of that, we know we, 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 we cut ourselves in different parts of ourselves. Uh, sometimes we will say, okay, it's my conscious mind, my subconscious mind, my unconscious mind, my supraconscious mind, it's my angel, my guide, uh, uh, whatever with, with the different <coughs> beliefs. Uh, and it's very interesting to, to understand, okay, the, the who and the what 
need to connect. So we know in case theosophy we, we create a mapping, a mind mapping for, for our partner. And it's very important to understand that, okay, the what is what I have, what I feel, what, what, what's happened inside myself. Uh, but who? Fool me, part of me, an aspect of me, me when I'm uh, on the work, uh, I, I have my problem when I'm on work. Okay, so who? But who? Uh, it will be me uh, as a worker. Okay, uh, and have you got this problem when you are at home with your family, with your friends, at sports? No, I haven't. So the watch is just in the box during a moment. Uh, we know that for phobia and so on, I have phobia for plane, but I'm not for, um, I have no phobia for uh, when I take my car. So it's very important to understand, okay, the who, the what, and what with who. And don't confuse we have or we do with we are. A lot of people with the disease, the problem, then mind, mind, uh, mind problem, confuse, okay, um, I have that thing, so I am like that. And in, it's not really, in fact, you are what you are, uh, what you are, sorry, you are not what you are. You are who you are, and it's very important to to put our partner in his way on understanding and uh, understand that a lot of times they think they can change or find some solution because they think that uh, they are what they, they are and uh, it's not real. So, in our cautious of we will help them to reframe this idea. A lot of people, for example, will explain, okay, what is your problem? My problem is uh, the control, the over control about everything. Okay, uh, who is in over control? I am in over control. Okay, so you can think, okay, who is the patient? What is the over control? But if you ask the question, what control who? So I take the problem, what control who? I don't know what control who? I need to control. So, is it you who control the control? A lot of people will say, ah, uh, yeah, perhaps. So, if you control the control, if you over control the control, you, you can uncontrol the control. Are you okay with that? So, who can control what? And a lot of people at this moment, Think, okay, I'm over control, what? And I'm, who is the over control man? But in reality, it's what? The consequences, the object, who control the who? Because he can't, uh, no control on the, on the control. So he can't let the control go and be without any control. So in fact, all his life he think, okay, I'm over control. And in fact, he is uh, with no control about the way to, to, to keep things in his perception. But it's not control, because if he control, he could be master of what he wants to do. So it's not the control. A lot of time we work uh, on what, but we need to understand who. What will give us some aspect to the question? What is the control? And what do you feel with the idea that you don't control the control? At this moment, we can connect to who is the real control, the master of something. And a lot of time, it's not them, so they don't control. And at this moment, it's very important for people to understand, okay, since long time I've thought that I was over control, in fact, I don't control and I just want to keep and when we have a new what we can understand a new aspect of our who and we can find some different way to uh, find new solution we will continue this series little by little and if you have some questions just let me know and like every day just take what is good for you take care bye bye, bye, bye.